Being our day off this morning, we didn't use the boat and head out to the fringe reefs or into the channels where we've been diving over the last couple of days. What I decided to do was kind of take a day off, but it's pretty difficult when you got a few days in paradise and the conditions are so perfect right where you are. So what we did is we just packed a few cylinders and headed out around the island to a little spot that we had dived before and we found some very interesting little fish here. You kind of swim over some very shallow coral and then it breaks up into a nice sandy bottom with a lot of seagrass and every now and again you come across these beautiful little bommies with a lot of fish on them. The little damsels and uh, little glassies, quite a few of the butterfly fish here as well. But the reason for us to come out here was for these little guys. These are the partner gobies or the shrimp gobies and they're an incredible amount of different species that you find of these little fish. These guys all live along and in amongst the grass and the little shrimps that they have found little home with. It's the perfect symbiotic relationship that, that is formed here. And the gobies kind of part in this whole deal is to keep a good lookout for any potential predators or any big fish that might find little shrimps and themselves a tasty morsel while it's the shrimp's job to, to keep the house clean, so to speak. These little shrimps, obviously all different species as well, but they're incredibly active and incredibly busy little, little animals. The whole day they just shovel out loads and loads of sand out of the, the little holes where they and the, the goby lives. And while all of this is going on, the little goby, he just sits outside the hole and just keeps a good eye out on what's going on. Kind of like big bulldozers taking out sand from a mine. They're incredibly busy. I think what they do is they, they put a certain type of secretion on, on the sand to bond it together. And once all the material that's not required is out, they kind of come out and they, they shovel back a bit of sand and obviously using this to construct their little dwelling. It's really nice being able to film these little animals and it just kind of opens your eyes up to the oceans, not all about the the sharks and the big pelagic animals but there's an enormous amount of interest in these little symbiotic relations that you, you find in the ocean and if you've got a bit of time you can spend hours basically observing the behavior going on between these, these little animals.